One thing I want to nip in the butt quick. Oh, right. it's a statement. It's a statement that I hear all too often across motors drifting in specific. It's it takes a good lead to have a good chase. Well, that's what you guys say. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we do say that all the time. For the most drivers, it does. For most we drivers, it does. <laughs> you see, you see, and that is what I mean when you say for the most. So it's something that I feel like has been a statement that's been generated. Mm-hmm. So that it kind of gives that it's like neutrality. Out. It's a cop it's out. It's a cop out. It's a cop, <laughs> it's a cop out. out. Yeah. Because See, straight up, them facing, that. <laughs> what do they tell us in every driver's meeting since we started drifting? The lead car is a moving clipping point. Mm-hmm. Follow him where he goes. Yeah. So as a good driver, as we're leading and chasing, we should be able to put our car in almost any other position. But technically, they're saying. The easiest position to follow makes you the better chaser. So, it's like, stupid. if a guy gives you a perfect lead run and now you can chase like a magic man, mm-hmm. now you're a good chaser. But if you can't chase a guy to a different line, that makes him a bad lead car. No, I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we lost him. We oh, lose? man. Are you serious? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I'll message him now. Wow. So, so, so the saying is. Uh, what was the saying that he said? Because you just like jumped on me, like you're like yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> no, I knew. I've been saying it for a while. He's, he's, oh, it, it takes a good lead. It takes a good lead to, to have, have a, a good, good chase. Follow, have a good chase. They don't. And then so the form it, of the drift has been saying the same crap. What I'm saying yeah. is a good lead run is going to well, if obviously, the, if it, it makes it a gonna, lot easier. Exactly. I never yeah. said it's not. I never but said it takes. You're saying it takes a good lead to have, have a, a good, good follow. What well, we could yeah. say instead, it doesn't take a good lead. To have a good follow, well, no, we can I guess say it, it makes it, it easy right. to follow if you have a good lead. What we can say instead is a good lead gives more opportunity for a good, good follow. follow. That I think that would be. But typically, you don't get a good chase <laughs> unless there's a good follow. Okay, maybe it's a cop out. <laughs> but I've but seen... I'm just saying, the vast majority of time, it's if a it's a, if it's a really cop is really it's crappy lead run, yeah, you see the chase driver staying back and letting him screw up his lead run. Right, you give him right. the link or but, what? But oh, yeah. that's what my point is that. But I have seen where like a lead driver will fall offline, but the chase driver will still get a superior on. chase driver is going to put down a solid chase run no matter what. Exactly. Okay. But what I'm saying is the most of the time, whether it's a cop most out or not, the time. most of the time, the, you just don't see it. Right. Yeah. So I'm like when you got a good lead driver, you got a good lead driver, then you can be like, okay, this is going to be good chase. That guy should chase him really good because yeah. a lot easier. It's absolutely a lot easier. Yeah. We'll be back. And I'm yeah. back. Oh, there, oh, we, there go. we go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, they try to get rid of you because no, no, they, no. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right? the 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 Somehow they just <laughs> no, no. So my brother's been telling me this all the time, and, and he always rags. I mean, you just gave him so much more ammunition. So I'm not going to hear the end of it. That's okay. It's the truth, though. But yeah, it, it is. I, I okay. Yeah. But no. what I'm saying is that when we watch it and we see the driving, it's like if the guy, if you know the guy's not a good lead driver, or you saw his qualifying run. You just already know, okay, this guy's not, he's not going to chase him well because he's going to want to play it safe. So yeah. when you have a good lead driver, there's going to be a good chase because, yeah, he makes it easier for him. But a, a superior chase driver is going to be able to chase a crappy lead no matter what. But it doesn't make a good. Uh, it, okay. A it good doesn't lead make doesn't, it. It doesn't make right. it. It makes it easier. Okay. Maybe I should say <laughs> yeah. whatever. So <laughs> my, so, my thing is, like, having been around the sport for so long and kind of seeing the judging transition the way it has. And how, like, when Japan came in heavy and, like, Daigo just, boom, champion, yeah. boom, was chasing mm-hmm. everybody. Yeah. To me, they started to – the emphasis on lead started getting bigger because everyone can lead. Mm-hmm. So it gives them something to actually be able to judge everyone on, like, a very normal basis with mm-hmm. versus, let's say, you know, a lead – to me, I feel like some of the leads aren't perfect, right, because we're not robots. So, I mean, James Dean, but, yeah. you know, some some leads aren't perfect. They might be a foot off of a certain line or you might miss a zone by a foot, but you may have committed to that zone in that corner 30 yards before the guy that just hit that zone perfectly with less angle, less commitment, but he drove into it perfectly. Mm-hmm. So to me, there has to be like a balance between the way you can drive aggressively and drifting and stylish. And there has to be a transition to way fast driving and low angle because, mm-hmm. you know, now a lot of times too, they say proximity. So 
the lead car might be on a really good line and the chase cars, if I can show you, he's behind mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. just like this. Yep. And this right. is like, and they're like, oh, no, but, he's, no. but this guy can very much just be like that. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And that makes it that's committing to the lead driver's line. So if you're right. following a lead car, it doesn't mean you're following the line he's taking. It yeah. means you're utilizing the same angle he has, the same dynamics he has to mirror the lead driver. So, yeah, I feel like they just. They let a lot slide. But when a drive, hold on, shut up. I hate, I hate when they say unchasable run. That, that just well, yeah, unchasable drives me yeah. nuts. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but what? I, but my 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 thing I'm more talking about is you have your drivers that I don't know. They slow down to certain areas of the track, right? And they stall. That that those are the, oh, the those are the crappy lead runs that I see. They may be right, angry right, and right, smoking right. and everything like that, but they're freaking dead stalling halfway through the track. Not necessarily clutch right. kickers, but anywhere. Like you're just like, come on. You could obviously tell right. he's not flowing through the track, and those are those are the lead runs that it makes it hard for the chase driver to follow that. Now it's See, going to separate okay. the, the 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 excellent chase driver. And now we're not talking FD. I'm talking more of the grassroots guys. But it's going to mm -hmm. separate. That's where you're going to really see the skill is if a guy can commit and follow that crap. You know, roll through his BS, if you could say. And, and it can sometimes the lead driver will do it intentionally. Mm -hmm. Right, mind games, uh, my, the mind game garbage. Those drivers obviously separate themselves from the rest, but typically, when you got a driver that you know what to expect from him, you'd be like, "Okay, this isn't going to be a good chase run." No, you're right, and that's just where I say, like I said it like that in the terms of like if people started doing more matching of what the lead car is doing, mm -hmm. um, it would then negate some of these unchaseable leads because you'd find two cars in the same position at the same mm -hmm. angle with the same momentum mm -hmm. and let's say the lead car does stunt then okay he definitely slowed because they both had the same angle mm -hmm. why are you on the brakes but when it's like a guy's already made a mistake a corner before mm -hmm. and he's playing catch up to a car that might be throwing big angle and maybe have to make a correction he's already on a bad line as a chase yeah. car because he made a mistake mm -hmm. so but then that can be used against the lead car saying that then he made you know it's no, just i got you it's, you know, it, it's yeah yeah but I won't say it anymore. <laughs> I won't say it anymore. And I'll make mention that Magic Mike told me I'm not allowed to say this. <laughs> I mean, trust me, a great lead run makes for the potential for an epic battle overall, like right. just a good tandem, right. you know. But there's just so much more room on the track for less than perfection without such harsh judgment, shall I say. I'll yeah. agree with you. I agree with you on yeah. that.